The Bit Monitor is a measuring instrument to monitor the digital activities. It gives you information about the digital data of the audio file and of the entire production chain that was involved in creating this file. The two bars in the center are the bit ladder. Hawkeye is a double precision 64-bit audio analyzer and these 64 bits of the audio signal find their representation by this ladder of bit indicators. Bits in use are shown in different intensities of the petrol color. Normally bits are counted upwards from the first bit to the 64th bit. A 60-bit audio file will use the upper 16 bits. For an easier bit count you can activate invert which simply turns the enumeration upside down. Additionally, when clicking into the instrument, a horizontal bar appears with a bit number in a value box. The top bit of the bit letter is also called sign bit and it indicates the strength of DC offset. If a measured DC offset level is between minus 60 and minus 40 dB, the top bit shifts its color from petrol over green to yellow and to red. The history of the top bit is displayed in an outwards moving color pattern. Let me give you an example. I will fade out audio for reasons of discretion. The cause for a DC is almost always created in the analog domain by faulty, bad or miscalibrated gear. DC should be avoided to mitigate issues like reduced headroom or problems with encoding to lossy formats like MP3. Power amplifiers are equipped with DC detectors and they can switch off as they go into protection mode when heavy DC is detected. So we need to take care about having no DC in our recordings. DC is shown even more precisely with these two horizontal bars up here. Let's engage the labeling. These bars show the DC offset separately for the left and the right channel, distinguished between negative and positive DC offset. The white brackets hold the maximum values. Hawkeye features a bit depth check. To activate, click on depth. This instrument applies a statistical measurement to determine the real bit depth of the audio track. Bits in the range from the 24th to the 17th that just contain pure noise are marked red. The depth check is especially useful to measure whether the analog to digital converter used for recording achieved the maximum possible bit depth. It is also an indicator for the quality of your analog signal flow. Issues in the digital chain like plugins that process at 16 bits will truncate the signal which is hereby easily detectable. This audio example shows a 24-bit high-resolution audio track, where the petrol numbers indicate the real bit depth. To go a step deeper into the digital signal, let us activate the bit pattern. This is a more detailed view compared to the petrol bit ladder. Every 50 millisecond, the audio sample is decomposed in its bits, which are shown as an outward moving pattern. A regular bit pattern is an indication that something is probably wrong within the audio processing chain. Upscale tracks, for example from 16 to 24 bit, can be identified by either the lower bits staying at zero or a bit pattern that is symmetrical around a certain bit number. The bit distribution is an alternative display of the bit pattern. It shows the statistical commonness of bits by a gray scale where frequently used bits are indicated white, unused bits stay black and rarely used bits are displayed in, well, 50 shades of gray. As you see in this example we have a 24-bit signal. When using the DOS processing like doing a fade in or fade out you can see the full 64-bit processing. Alright, 
that was part four. The next video deals with the vector scope. See you then. Have fun and bye-bye.